have a special one here for us. We have a repo that we're gonna try to get tonight. Tonight's the night that we're hitting up a repo. Um, this one here came in, and they're paying good for it. When I say they're paying good, I mean they're paying good. So we got a 2023 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Uh, apparently the car is supposed to be orange in color. And license plate is RBP 2868. And so they asked me to, if I can go and see if I can grab it. I, that's what we're doing today. Apparently they like to hide the car. Um, they gave me word that so they gave me word that it apparently her partner signed on the car as well and so they have their address too so the last known about where they know where this car is at is over at that house, so we're about to ride through, see if we see it. If we see it, we'll stake out the area, maybe wait for later tonight, and hopefully everyone goes to sleep, and then we'll sneak in and grab it. So that's what we're gonna do. So here is the neighborhood right here. All right, make sure we are good. But before we do anything, we have to make sure that the car is even in. It's, it's even over here. Because the last thing you want to do is to stake out an area or a house for a couple hours just for the thing not to be here. So there's the house. As you can see, they got all kind of stuff. I see a I have I do see two orange cars up there. I'm gonna turn my lights off. I don't know if one of them is gonna be our car, but this might be a good spot here. Kill the actually you know what? Leave it running. We're gonna sneak up here real quick to see if we'll see a orange Mustang or something. Hey, can I climb up there? Climb in here. Good thing they got some trees over here. Come on. Can't climb. Let's go around this way. Okay, I see. I do see. Obviously, there's one for sure that uh, looks like a dark horse. I don't know if it's ours. We, we ain't going to be able to. We can't like, get out of the tree. I can't check it until... Until we go in for it. It looks like it doesn't have a license plate, so... I'm gonna go in there and see, but I can't check it until I actually check the van, so I get away from here. See if we can find somewhere to park up. I know exactly where I can park. A little dirt road right here and you can keep an eye on the house over there perfect good thing I got four-wheel drive so I can't if I get stuck I can get out of here so we're just gonna sit around and wait pretty much till later tonight and we're gonna see if we can get it all right, so as you can see, the sun is down, and we're going to go in for it. This car has no tracker or anything on it, so we cannot confirm if it is ours or not. We're just going to have to just go in. That's all we gonna. That's all we can do, really. Just go in for it. Try not to make too much turbo noises because this truck, the turbo is loud on this thing. This Silverado got a loud turbo.
as I make more spool noises. House is dark though. Honestly, someone I think is home, but I don't think they're gonna notice me. I don't think they're gonna notice me too much. It's gonna be tight because they got a charger part right there. Alright. Who does it? Tight boy. Try not to hit the charger here because I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to trick you into thinking that the there's an 07 sitting right there I don't know you can't even see the license plate now but they try to trick you all right I'm gonna try to see if I can look at this bin here there's no plate okay this is the car for sure now, crap. I think we got it. try to get being raised up here gonna drag it though cuz not have key come on gonna drag it a little bit Get it out of here, and then we'll try to use a lockout kit to get in there. All right, let's try to get that lockout kit and get in here. Oh. Park and break off. You're good to go. All right, we're good, boys. We got it. They tried to throw us off with the car. Um, they took the plate off of it, put it on the other one. Um, I was looking at that one. I don't know if you guys seen it on camera or not because it's pretty dark out here. But that one, that's an 08. That was an 08 Mustang uh, GT. And from the looks of it, it has not been driven. And so I was like, yeah, okay. There's only one dark horse here. And you're trying to fool me. Thinking like, oh, yeah, this is the car. And you know you haven't driven it. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to take this back to our yard. Alright, good morning everybody. We is the, a new day and we made it back. We got our dark horse behind us and we, look at that, looks good. We looking good. I was looking around for any damages 
that may have been caused last night. And I don't see anything. Everything looks good to me. As you guys can see. So I call that a success. You know, no damages. Car is fine. They, I got the key to the car this morning. So we can actually start it up. I'm going to drop this car down here. And uh, we're going to try to start this car up. I was hoping that I was going to give it, I was going to have it by tomorrow. I mean, I was hoping I had it last night, but I don't want to wait. So I wouldn't got it last night. And it was a success. Yep. So I used to have a dark horse. I don't know if they can. Uh, okay. But I used to have a dark horse. We got rid of it because it had a smoking problem. I don't see this one smoking, not yet anyway. But there it is. It has that 5 0 coyote. Sounds good. Oh, there is the smoke. Yep, that's why I got rid of mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'll never... I would never own another one. <laughs> I would never own another one. That smoke is something else. I don't... I just don't know why it calls it. There's nothing wrong with the engine. It runs fine and everything, but they smoke. Anyway. Got ourselves a good lick there. I'm excited. I'm happy. I can't complain. So, in the last video, if you guys seen, we picked, we had got these two cars from a traffic accident. Um, had a BMW M8, and we had a Ford Focus. That's a ZX3, I think. And, and this is where the damages. The BMW T-boned the Focus. Uh, but when after it T-boned the Focus, it went into a um, a light pole and so that's a lot of damage on the m8 uh it's completely totaled um i did get in contact with both of these cars and owners finance companies um and the insurance companies they came to a conclusion for both of these cars to be crushed so we're going to be dropping them off to the crusher today i am looking forward to that <laughs> i'm looking forward to that we got ourselves a con a very big contract we got to get this truck ready to roll uh we have a very expensive big contract to haul for a very expensive company so we're gonna get this truck ready for that big haul because it's gonna be a very heavy one too but Without further ado, let's get this truck fired up. Because we gotta get these two loaded and we're gonna send them off to the crusher. Their final farewell. Oh man. Anyway, uh the Dark Horse for information. Um like I told you guys, the owner. They, they they got tired of dealing with her. And so I don't know how long this dark horse is going to be here for. But until they figure out their remaining balance on that car, which um, they said 
they ask me if they have mine if i hold it and i don't mind it and i put them in the in our drop lot and i'm just gonna let it sit there anyway i'm gonna get these two loaded up here then i'm off to their final resting place sadly i don't want to i don't want to haul them but it is what it is So we gotta load the Famer first. I'll turn on PEO. Alright. Alright, so when I do this, I like to roll it out all the way almost, and then I drop down. That keeps the, the uh, pressure that's not going to be enough we're going to have to bag up too but yeah that's why if that's what you're wondering how I do it. These are like support. So that way, like if you're like loading, it's not a lot of um, weight on your suspension. You use that. All right, let me get that winch. Here we go. And then we'll hook this up to that beamer. Let's see if I can... Eh. I need that... That axle... Something back there. I mean, since it's going to the crusher, it doesn't really matter. You can hook them to anything. Hold on there, Jeffrey. I'll put you in neutral real quick. That's really all you do. I had a working winch mod, but, you know, these trucks, they don't really have any support for anything, really, besides what Beam and G Drive gave you. Like, engines, you can't do anything. Engine brakes, can't do anything with any of them. Like, they won't let you really customize it besides what Beam and G Drive made mandatory, like, uh, Pacific. All right, that's good enough. I said that's good enough. Is he up there? Is he up there? Bam. And that's it. I'm not even really gonna tie these down because they're going to the crusher. If you guys remember, the Crusher is where we bought all them cars. It's literally the same place. So, that's where we're heading.
All right, we made it to the scrapyard. And this is where we're going to be letting him rest. So let's let them get this stuff unloaded.